So you want to join us for the FD8 off. Stick around. I'll show you how to set up your software. <laughs> Welcome, Beer Snack here. I'm going to show you how to set up your software to join us in the FT8 off. Now, WSJTX is the preferred software, but I have developed a workaround for those of you who require the use of JTDX. Let's get started. You should have already downloaded, installed, and configured your FT8 software before following the steps in this video. We're going to start with WSJTX. You're going to go to the File menu. Select Settings. When the box opens, go to the Reporting tab. At the bottom you'll see a box or a section that's marked Secondary UDP Server. Make sure that Enable Logged Contact is checked. Set your IP address and your port and make sure that they are the same as what you see on the screen. Go ahead and click OK and that'll save your settings to enable it to send to the logging server. When the Log QSO dialog box comes up, please make sure all the information is correct. Enter your TX power and click Retain. That allows us to calculate for a QRP bonus for Special Event and DX stations. After you press OK, go to ft8off.kd2fmw.com and at the bottom of the page you'll see a Packet Check button. It will bring up this page here. It allows you to see the last 10 records that were received. Make sure that your record was received, and in the second half of the page, make sure that the score was calculated properly. Well now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Well, <laughs> that was the easy one. Now time for JTDX. Using JTDX for the FT8 off scoreboard requires the use of an additional program to be run. JTDX does not output the local station information from the program itself. In order to obtain this local listener, please go to the FT8 off website. At the bottom of a the page, there's a link to the software setup. On the software page, you can click the link for JTDX or scroll down the page. At the top of the JTDX setup information, there's a link to the zip file that contains the program. After you have downloaded and unzipped the JTDX monitor folder, open it up to display the contents. In this folder you will see the JTDX monitor program. Double click to open the program. When the program comes up, you, the user, are prompted for your station and operator information. The station information must be input each time the program starts. The input is not case sensitive and will be formatted internally. Enter the station's call sign. Press enter then you're going to enter the four or six digit station grid square. Now, if the operator call sign is different from the station call sign, please enter it here. Otherwise, just press enter. You'll see now that the station's information will be added to the data that would be sent to the scoreboard. If this is incorrect, you can press control C to end the program and then restart the program. The local listener is now ready to link JTDX to the scoreboard. Now we need to configure JTDX. My radio is not connected to JTDX at this time, but the setup is still the same. The only setting that needs to be added or changed is the second UDP server. You're going to go into the settings menu, go to reporting, and at the top under send logged QSO ADIF data, you're going to set up the second UDP server with an IP address of 127.0.0.1 and make sure that the UDP port is 2239. Check the box to make sure that it is selected to enable sending to the secondary server. It is the only setting that needs to be changed. Go ahead and press OK. Logging your QSO is the same as doing with WSJTX. Make sure that the QSO dialog box has all of the proper information, including the TX power. Make sure you click Retain so that it goes through on every transmission. After you press OK to send your log, 
go back to the FT8 off website. At the bottom, you'll see a button that says packet check. And if all went through properly, you will see your packet was received as the ADIF record, as well as the information was received for the FT8 off scoreboard itself. Well, now that you've seen how to set up your software for FT8 off, we'd like to see you on the live scoreboard this coming Thursday. This is Beer Snack saying thanks for watching and get on the air.